just attended the international or your state international business summit which just took place on the 19th of uh, may uh, and then i have the honor of you know meeting with him and i discussed that oh let us talk about this area of tourism of which that is office as a special advisor to the your state uh, governor it is well known to the whole world that it's on your state nigeria has um suspended uh, not uh, lake suspended you, lake. Mean, you mean the lake the, the lake. lake suspended lake exactly a we lake that's suspended we, have, we are told that we have two in the world but the one in Ado Hawaii saying local government or your state nigeria is the only natural one that uh, is just disclosed to us now the second one that we are told that is in colorado united states of america but the one we have in Oyo State is as still at the raw state. I hope it needs side attractions to keep tourists fulfilled and engaged. Hello, viewers. Uh, actually, name of Honorable Ademola Ige is a special advisor to the governor of Oyo State, who is currently serving the people to actualize accelerated growth and sustainable development of. Engineer Shei Makinde. You're welcome, sir. Oh, welcome to thank London, so sir. much, uh, Mr. Lasley Ladi Bolu. It's my pleasure. There are uh, some people in diaspora and uh, everyone listening to us, everyone working us. And then, where we are now, we want you to actually tell us more about those tourism potentials we have in Oyo State. Despite the fact that that uh, tourist attraction center still at the raw state, the place still attracts tourists not less tourists. than 4,200. As at last year, 2020 the record available on my table shows that it attracted about 4,200 tourists. Hawaii in Oyo State. Tucked away in Ado Hawaii, Oyo State, amidst stone giants, we find a hidden gem huddled atop the Iake Mountain, a suspended lake. Wow. That's why that it has. That's why it's still, still in that stage. That's a raw stage without uh, uh, waiting for harness. The Iake Lake is one of the only few accessible suspended lakes in the world. Imagine if this one is already in a, uh, a nest, if people have explored that uh, tourist site, they will be, they will be talking of uh, yeah, maybe 100,000 or 50,000 people coming. Yeah. A little bit earlier about that about the opportunity of an Oyo Business Alliance. From the place now, the state government is empowered to bring the tariff for its own. And that means that one of the things we've had Business International Summit held in London, hosted by the Russian government, has shown that the state people are really serious to welcome investors to harness the potentials in the state. Members of this panel will also talk briefly 
and um, because I can see we have some investors here, they will tell you the reason why they have chose to invest in my state. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Honorable Adimola Iki, for that very worthy opening. That is the African community here, and most specifically the business professionals in the African community here. But partly, it is also the UK companies that wish to work in Oyo State or wider Nigeria or anywhere on the continent. But since we're talking about Oyo State, the British companies that want to work there. Yeah, I'm not able to you are welcome to uh, this is uh, looting in uh, after the summit you attended in London uh, of which you gave a presentation about tourism yeah. we, and then we take you around and you actually uh, try to meet people around who are Nigerian diasporas and also uh, looking out for ways of uh, creating more uh, extended the opportunities of uh, the investment into or your state. Here we are in Luti here. We come across uh, a samples of uh, Oyo. Oyo London Luti. I'm surprised. I'm amazed to see this for the first time. This is Oyo London Luti. So I'm, 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 I'm happy seeing things like this. I can see the building. I think this building is called London, yeah, this particular wow. building we are seeing is city, city center of uh, looting, yeah. and actually uh, uh, signified as a or your London looting. It just coincides to the uh, honorable Ademolaige has been pushing to the wall that uh, tourism and our potentials of tourism needs to be, you know. Uh, so that is something for us to think about and to talk about, how we bring those professionals together. Engage with the resources, the capabilities, the advisors and the expertise of the other end. So on that basis, something for you to consider over lunch. Anyone who wants to talk more about it, I'm here to talk about it. Once again, I did all the everyone um, uh, viewing this um, interview everyone listening to me this afternoon uh, I greet you all well uh, two days ago I just did um, did uh, organize um, a business summit in uh, UK and it's all about uh, uh, bringing what we have, bringing tourism investment opportunities to the people in diaspora. Diaspora. So that reason why I've come all the way from Africa, Nigeria. So, so, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good so to good to see you people. Well, well, that reason why we are here. Well, you know. Oyo State is known for its hospitality, and uh, when we talk of hospitality in Oyo State, second to none. And this will be the first time a state in Nigeria we organize an uh, international business uh, summit like this. So we need to give kudos to His Excellency, the Governor of Oyo State, is an entrepreneur par excellence. Uh, this Governor has um, tried a lot in area of fixing infrastructure that will bring more development to our dear states. And the power between this conference and the next conference do we start to line up the projects that will be part of a pipeline of activities that will build the GDP in way of state? Uh, also, we have Mapu Hall. The ancient 
1926, 1926, rather, 1926, yeah. by, by Captain Ross, Captain Ross, the British colonial master then, and, um, and the contractor, the engineer that uh, built that map was engineer Robert, yes. and it's the same made that engineer that also built uh, Bowers Tower, in oh, that uh, Bowers Tower that we yes. always talk about in the, because a number of uh, um, foreigners, yeah. they like to come to Nigeria and yeah. when they come to Nigeria, they like a kind of a peaceful and very lovely city of Ibadan, yeah. which is noted for being calm yes. and very hospitable, people yeah. there are very hospitable. So yes. the Bowers Tower there was actually one of the tourist uh, attraction sites. Right. Wow. Actually, in, that power tower has so many peculiarities. The, you are on top of that power tower, yeah. you'll be seeing the whole Ibadan then in the old, wow. old days. But now, due to expansion, due to development, right. you'll be seeing, when you're there, you'll be seeing, you'll not be able to see the entire Ibadan, but you'll see half of Ibadan. Uh, when the last time I realized, I came around to Ibadan and I was on top of that uh, power tower. I can see, I can you see, see actually. Top. Yes, you see all it. part of uh, Ibadan. Honestly, top, the honest, you'll be wow. seeing uh, wow. So, and um, it has a spiral staircase. That That's very unique. Very, very unique. And uh, when you are, when you are, when you are on top of that place, when you face one side, you thought that you've seen it all. You face another place. You talk. Oh <laughs> so God. honestly, oh my God. It's, you, 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 oh my it's God. a very interesting place to visit when you come to Ibadan. There's also a mention and of uh, still, yeah, uh, uh, yeah no, no, not yet annexed. Actually, annexed yet? Uh, not yet annexed. So that is another potential. That means that's another, that's another potential for that, investors um, to come around. That, that can bring the revenue to investors, even to the states. To the states. Well. So wow. now we have um, so many dams. Not less than 20 dams you have in your Dams? Dams. I mean water and, dams. And water river. Dams. Do we and actually and have you. sea... Ri okay. Oh. Are we able to turn... Do you mean you can turn the river into business of, of the tourism in the loyal state? Eco the rivers you Ecotourism. What's happening in Lagos? Right. They are generating a lot of massive revenue from ecotourism in Lagos. Have you, have, have, you, have you visited La Campagne in China? Oh, yeah, the Tropicana. Yeah, honestly, the one we have at LLE, LLE waterfront can be used um, properly against, can be used for eco tourism. We have built um, uh, parks, uh, apartments, right. hotels, and uh, because the place. Yes. During, during your, sir, yeah, during yeah. your presentation, uh, the events or right. uh, your state business summit, why are you presenting to the world about this? There's a mention I heard from your speech yes, regarding uh, what you actually regard as the tourism as well. Thank so, you. So, is anyway, sports has to do with tourism in the in our state? And now, you, nowadays, sport is another lucrative business in the world. And uh, uh, your state has invested greatly in this aspect. Well, we have uh, uh, Adamami Sports Complex, yeah. Adama Suda. It was in um, Sorry State before, before we got into this, at this before the resumption of this administration. But immediately, uh, this um, administration yes, uh, commenced, uh, yeah. At the commencement of this administration, right, and that is a for democracy, my belief, yes, the bank was a complete renovation, renovation, total rehabilitation. In fact, the world, the world see that yeah. must be as, uh, you know, so, a, a, a return to a kind of and a it has, world. It has, as host held the African uh, the, uh, international competition yeah. recently, that was last year. Yeah, so we know I think we heard about Nigerian, uh, uh, Nigerian uh, <laughs> uh, national uh, football team exactly. playing another international team exactly. in the same in the stadium. You know, so that is part of, uh, of uh, yeah, sports tourism that um, I'm talking of. Not only that, in, in almost all that soon 
Do you have political souls in Ibadan? In Oyo State. In Oyo State. So, Oyo state. so yeah. we are doing the same thing there. So, Oyo State, then transportation, tourism. Before now, it's only uh, one airline operators that is, exists in Oyo State. Right. But um, two, three, two years, the administration resumed. And um, they have uh, they, 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 they really encouraged the investors. More airlines. Airline so you mean the Ibadan Airport now, Ibadan yeah. Airport now yes. people can actually travel to Ibadan. So many more airlines are actually yes, yes, yes. Uh, from jetting from Ibadan Airport. Right. So how does it happen? What are parts of Nigeria? Yes. How does it happen? Right. It's tough now. Make sure that um, uh, they fixed the problem that the, this airline have been facing. Right. Like that of uh, they, they are, they, you know, they don't have um, uh, fuel. Um, uh, any place they can get uh, aviation fuel. Yeah, aviation fuel. Yeah. They right. have to go to Abuja or Lagos. But right. immediately, this government fixed that uh, thing, and uh, the problem is over. So it has attracted a lot of uh, airline uh, operators. They will now have three flying from Ibadan right. to Abuja now. So unlike before. That's like uh, twice in a week that we have only one here, then because we got to have to be now. So, this is actually within so, the first. And not only right. that, the governor has realized the road right. that leads from Iwo uh, Road okay. to the airport with uh, street lights installed. Also, we took off our uh, yellow of um, rail, you know, we have uh, two destinations, two stops, right. rail bus stop. And rain stops in the bottom. Yeah, I actually Apata, featured one yes, in, uh, yes, one in Ojo. the Lagos Ibadan rail. Yeah. So we have one station at uh, Omiyaju, Omiyaju, and the one the ending at uh, Monia. We learned about one thing okay. according to you know for, during your the first uh, of of governor's map day. Yes. We heard about uh, the policy was about development. Yeah. During which or uh, during which uh, the State governor actually embarked on the vigorous infrastructure, massive you know, infrastructure development. Then there's uh, also a that is under 1.0. On that 1.0, so we are not in 2.0. We are oh, moving, to, moving from accelerated development to sustainable development. Wow. And that is why we are. I want to bring yeah. your attention to this. You mentioned about transportation yeah. authority. Yeah. Which is like, okay, in the area of the rail, yeah. when the federal government actually completed that Lagos Valley, Lagos Abekuta, the Valley. And I feature yeah. several content in the Lagos Valley Rail Service, okay. which you can find on this channel. And Lagos Ibadan Rail Service. This is the most efficient, safest, and most secure and comfortable means of transport Lagos to Ibadan or Ibadan to Lagos using also, Lagos Ibadan Rail, rail Line to ensure that there is more adequate transportation into the interior part of your states. The ambitious rail line into parts of your state. I'm going to ask this question about it, right? Uh, trying GRE4 to achieve is about having more rail to go into other parts of uh, or your state. Or so they can go through maybe, uh, you know, if I, or yours has been noted as a basket uh, of uh, agree, food, actually of Nigeria, of Nigeria. Of Nigeria. because agriculture exactly. is the main yeah. uh, yeah. business, business from Okio area. Yeah. Yeah. So the rail system, we the one recently that the uh, uh, federal government is trying to construct a rail that will go through or your yeah. and to what's important. We line is the pipeline. Yeah. So starting off from that, a uh, money here yeah. uh, from the uh, army. Yeah. So how far? How, how to is Diaspora, Nigerian diaspora especially, we are targeting because a lot of them want to get involved in this uh, uh, in, in the program of the government. So not in the 2.0, mm -hmm. they want to come and invest. They, they want to come and you know uh, get to know what are the things they can do. Area of hospitality, area of sports tourism, and stuff like that. Can you mention more about the, this area of hospitality? Because during your presentation, you may mention of those uh, areas in Jericho well, and some other places that are available for investors. Yeah. How, how, how possible how can the investors take, take it out? Thank you. Uh, I want to bring to the notice of the whole world that uh, when we talk of, uh, when people think of um, hospitality, business, where you can come and enjoy yourself, 
of Ibadan. Think Ibadan. You should think of Ibadan. Ibadan. Think of Oyo State. The reason is this. Ibadan is being surrounded by four states. We have Lagos State, Osu State, Ogo State, and Kuara. A majority of the people working in those states, they do come to Ibadan every weekend. So by the data available to my, on, me, on my table, most hotels yeah. in Ibadan, yeah. it's only fully booked. Any moment from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the Monday, so, so Monday Ibadan is, morning. So you mean so Ibadan has come to Ibadan. It's becoming the, the mecca of a tourism now, a mecca of entertainment or ah, enjoyment ah. for people to come down. <laughs> so, so the Ibadan is being turned to um, uh, Dubai of Nigeria now. That's just it. And thank God. Well, the day, that day when I made my presentation, right. there was um, one investor, hospitality investor, yeah. the man that is in hospitality business, that even collaborated what right. I sell. Right. That, uh, he has, he's a they, 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 uh, UK, um, UK based, uh, based on, uh, business person. He's a medical doctor. He said, that one who told in the Biden before? Well, during this regime of uh, engineers in market day, Yes. Who come gone? to Nigeria, come to your states. Who are a lot of people actually yeah, waving, yeah, they yeah, say they really, really want to be part of it. That engineers in marketing and uh, who a lot of uh, investors and uh, he has did the need that uh, make him have, show, have more interest to come to Nigeria. Join the modern trade service along the Lagos Ibadan line. To him first, so he has to quickly. Uh, sell off or dispose some of his property in UK here. He sent it to the world wow. and uh, used the money to build another hotel in Ibadan, the capital of your state. I know the place. So, he said, even that place it has been opened already, <laughs> and they used to tell him anytime they call, you say, ah, Oga, the place is uh, fully booked, though. the room is fully booked. Though. So, this so, is what? Oyo State is turning to now. Oyo State is moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Thank you. And it's nice. like economically it's expanding. It's expanding. Sound of business is expanding. So, so. why we bring this opportunity to their doorstep here in diaspora because the one that we did day for yesterday people attended across the globe but not only even like people in the UK here but people come from the US come from Canada come from little Saudi Arabia so it was well attended and uh, we are trying to sell our uh, natural Natural, you see what we have in our state as regards to tourism uh, sector. Now, with others such as Hanging Lake, located in Colorado, North America, these sites are valued in a geological class of their own. And the Adoawaye and Colorado suspended lakes are rumored to be the only two in the world. Who suspended lakes in the world? The we could accelerate economic development by getting. Only suspended lake in Africa and the only natural hanging lake in the world. Synthetic fibers imported for the special traditional cloth. I will have three classifications. Sonyo, Alari, and Itsu. So 
some places you can actually go to to relax on this street.